His record stands at 20 wins, 7 losses, and 4 draws with 11 by way of Guantanamo, Cuba. His way, 220. Right, round number one. Joey DeVeco out to touch gloves at yeah. every single time. style, head movement, he'll, and he'll, he'll make you miss and try to counter you real quick. In Ruiz at the Garden, he'll beat Anthony Joshua, the body beautiful. We're going to see Adam Kovnatsky. He has, and he, and he just slipped. He stepped back and slipped a nice right hand by Frank Sanchez. Sanchez is doing a good job right now at keeping the distance, and that's what he's supposed to do. He's not placed on the Cuban Olympic team in 2016, so he defected to the United States. A lot of experience with those 200 and something amateur fights, but I gotta tell you, Frank Sanchez just threw a really good nice keeper, their hands up well, and they're very aware of punches coming at him. And it's great in real competition. Lost to Sergey Kuzmin, who's 14 0. Brian Jennings. He was giving me mouth at the way, and I'm not touching his gloves. I'm coming right out no, to play. Lennox, but, you were touching no, Lennox, you touching guys. No, it's not. Yeah, no, I mean, great right. cricket. <laughs> Frank is so fast, it's hard to catch him on the way out. You basically have to put on that. Uh, Vickle is, is quick. There's a lot of nice, slick things in the ring as Carter Punch. I think he would enjoy being here tonight. Obviously, it's going to be a huge throng of Polish fans here tonight for Adam. No, he throws a great yeah. right hand, and uh, he, you know, he needs some put other punches together. Sanchez gets up with a right hand, fires one back. Wheels a little bit, and like he should, because what he was really doing in the first round, he was standing in front of a lot of things, and you know you got Joey standing in one spot, waiting to. <laughs> and, and the, if I if I could point something, Fortune, who's the trainer for uh, Joey DeVecco, so a 60s uh, short guy with tree trunk legs, and it was hard to knock him out. Joey DeVecco in the white and red, the red Poland. And he's a very accurate puncher, so, uh, you know, he should, really should depend on, on his accuracy. He back of the head and he looked for the referee for some help, and he said, no, oh, you know, you can cause that yourself. So, and right now, Sanchez isn't letting that happen. So he's fighting a good fight. It's a 10-round fight. And in one spot, he's, he's even able to throw hard. The jam springs right back out of the yes. Red and gold. Joe Goosen mentioning in the previous round that it's Henry Gar to concentrate on using that jab, using his distance, take advantage of his height. Uh, opponents, fellas, are having a hard time getting to the second round against Ryan Garcia. Sanchez to kind of outmaneuver him, and you know it's one thing. Coming uh, in there with the right hand, I mentioned Larry Hazard is with us this evening. Larry, your thoughts so far? His professional record, Sanchez, is only 14 fights. That that two or three hundred in a year. So to, right to your point, it's a very different thing when you have that level of competition. And as we mentioned, concerned about that team because they had great boxers, and most of the guys you're right had over two hundred. To you, it was unfair to them. <laughs> right? I mean, you'd be fighting a guy in his late twenties, right? Yeah. It'd be like you know, your early chess. And ninety-three percent of this fight has been fought at distance, and according to CompuCheck, right. good distance. And there, and that's just a, a good example of it right there. He just threw an uppercut from the outside. He's hands free and get to work. He's just letting Frank tie him up and. And nothing. Uh, that's Justin Fortune, who we mentioned earlier. Okay. Former fighter. <laughs> you better believe <laughs> as it. As Yogi once said, yes. Goes uh, to the side of the head of Deontay Wilder. And Wilder, we're wondering, Aveco, as he's been cut. It's a nasty cut, but he also did it again. At the moment. What should he do to try to counter that? Can he get, get down and dig to the body when he's uh, got that? Stop that and try to cover up his body and not get hit to it. It makes sense. Too much into this fight except for had to. So. Joey did the Frank Sanchez be heavyweight champion of the world? Well, yeah. I, I don't think there's any problem. Right? But you know, at a certain point, he's got to go for the knockout. He's a knockout puncher. Basically, step it up anytime he wants to because he's the sharper and stronger puncher concerned about in these early rounds. Let it's your gut feeling, though, when you're watching Frank Sanchez. Especially to be a heavyweight champion. A good amateur background. Fair enough. I think he actually, you know, pressured him a little bit and got left to him on the inside. Great punch, great punches. A variety of punches. Yeah, he's got it all. Sanchez is really just throwing one jab at the moment. When he's, he's, he'll get more results if he took uh, Joey DeVecca. So, you know, he's been warned. And uh, 270 plus yeah. uh, two weeks ago. Deontay Wilder is six foot seven. And he have like tree trunk legs. So, but he's got those move, movable legs where you can move around. Those. 
just wondering as you size him up, you know, like size matters. He's my opponent, but Ali, who was a big man for the time, 6'4", you know, 220. I think he was only 5'10", but, well, you know, he's a power. Yeah, 220, right? That's mm -hmm. best. It's, uh, ooh, Joey, easily. Nice three-punch combination. Deontay Wilder sat and watched that fight. He looked terrific again. He looks yeah. terrific every time out. We've seen him here a lot. His feet a little bit more instead of standing in one place. He's, he has no... Sanchez boxing, the way he's up on his toes now, and he's got a, a, just a very different rhythm. You see him jumping in the his size. It's something. You know, Ge Gebeko, um is not really a knockout, a knockout puncher. I'm going to take it to you and test you with some combos. And not hold so much. Not sure you can practice all kinds of different punches. And this is where you actually should be practicing. He's been calling Sanchez a, 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 a few names in the past Well, that is, like, as I used to say, we're in our opening heavyweight bout. Frank Sanchez and Joey DeVeco, it has been, just takes in the hook. Like I said, that's what he needs to do. Throw the, after that double jab right hand. And, and avoiding contact, he's stepping in and punching. I, I think he just looks like a better fighter when he does. What he needed to do to win, to assure the win. He stepped in and threw enough thunder. And it, and no, or no, the, no, no point being taken away. Or disqualified. He, I mean, if it could be time is 31 fights. But if you knock out a guy that rarely gets stopped for the first two minutes, Tobacco did not land a shot in the opening two minutes. The coffers knock people out. You want attention, knock people out. Yeah, yeah. Now, in all fairness, Jim yeah, is the balance. I would, absolutely. Yeah, and, I mean... We, we, and the last thing, we didn't get to hear Justin Fortune's instruction. From DeVeco, so that does remind you that DeVeco is a dangerous fellow at close range, still. Well, he's pretty much lost this fight. He's got about <laughs> two minutes left, and he really probably have a better opportunity to hurt uh, DeVeco if they actually just stood toe-to-toe -to -toe like that. I think I want to make some noise. I have to knock guys out, and he ended up getting the knockout. But that's Joseph Parker, who's sitting in the world, folks. As a pro, there's a lot of things he needs to uh, work on. Well, I gotta tell you, you see guys go away top down, sit in the pocket, round. No, 98 to 92? So. 90 to 100. Wait, no, for two. What was the first?